Good morning guys. Thank you for joining Definition of Concrete. Today we are installing some U-channel removable grate drains. Uh, water has been collecting against this retaining wall. We did not place this concrete here. Somebody else did. The slope is not exactly like it needs to be. Uh, so without tearing out all the concrete, we are going to install some removable drains that will catch the water, allow for the water to go out on the side of the slab. Come a little closer and I'll show you what we have here. So here, as you can see, these darker areas uh, is where water has been collecting. Definitely here in front of the steps is very dangerous, can make for a slip hazard in the winter time. Uh, so what we are doing, we're cutting out the whole section of concrete 16 inches uh, away from the wall. We will remove all of that concrete and we will install these drains here uh, that will be able to catch the water. We will also be able to uh, fix the slope issue that is against the wall. We'll slope the concrete that is against the wall towards the drain there and then the rest of the concrete will continue this uh, slope going out the rest of the patio. Uh, today we plan to get everything saw cut, get this concrete removed. We'll get our drains in place, get them set up, and tomorrow we plan to place that concrete in here and get this thing all finished up. The primary purpose of popping a chalk line is to maintain a straight line for you to follow with your grinder. So now that we have our lines popped, I recommend bringing a four and a half inch grinder out to follow your line. It's easier to start with a small grinder before going to the concrete saw. It basically gives the concrete saw a guideline to follow. So now that we have grinded out our line, let's grind out our guideline using the concrete saw. Maintaining blade depth is a key point to concrete demolition. Successfully doing so will result in no damage or very minimal damage to existing concrete. The point of water running on the blade is to keep a dustless environment as well as keep blade temperature down. Now that we have finished our cuts, let's bring out the 70 pound demolition hammer. Maintain the demolition area as you progress. This allows continuous workflow and high efficiency levels. Make sure to have some strong gentlemen to help with your project. After we finished cutting, we went ahead and pressure washed all the concrete residue to maintain cleanliness of our work area, as well as maintain the property of the homeowner. After finishing up with the demolition hammer, we moved on to staking our U-channel drain system into place, as well as setting a string line to continue the discipline of our straight lines. Here we are going back and making sure everything has the correct fall using the torpedo level, also setting the height for our U-channel drain system to make it 100% ready for concrete. Ladies and gentlemen, concrete has arrived for this repair. We will be using the wheelbarrow method. We will also be shoveling the concrete to prevent making a mess. For the pour, we will have two guys shoveling concrete in. One guy will be using a float to get the concrete set in at the height and fall that is necessary. One guy using a pull trowel to finish the top for our brimming process one guy using an edger to make for a nice finish. Hey guys, I just want to thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook if you want to see more content.
Thank you.